seen or not. Then it will. Alright, so this last we chat Tavadishi, and welcome to my first part of Let's Play Rise of Nations, Thrones and Patriots. And I'm not going to get too too into it right now, I just thought I would reveal what my next project was going to be, what I'm working on. I'm still going to finish the Ottoman campaign, I'm still going to be working on that, but this is where what I'm going to do after, and it's not just going to be, if you play Rise of Nations, it's not going to be like a skirmish or anything, I don't know how many of you have, but it's an awesome game. It's one of my favorite games uh, of all time. I was considering putting it on my top 10 list. I guess it just didn't make the cut. So consider this game an honorary number 11. But what I'm actually going to be doing is in uh, the expansion pack for Rise of Nations, Rise of Nations kind of felt a little bare bones and it really didn't become awesome till this expansion pack. But there are several Conquer the World campaigns in Rise of Nations. And uh, the one I'm actually going to be doing for you is called the Cold War. And uh, it has you taking control of either the Axis, sorry, not the Axis, the Americans or the Soviets and sort of fighting the Cold War how you would choose to do it. Either you choose to beat them out through military means, through economic means, sort of going around the world and getting all these states as your sort of client states so they become part of your uh, sphere of influence and then it, even if you want to you can choose to turn the key and just basically nuke your enemy into oblivion if you have enough nuclear missiles to do that so it's a really it was a really interesting concept now it's a really interesting concept then and I think it's be something that is going to be very interesting for you guys to watch and very interesting for me to play so I'm going to just start this up for you guys real quick and show you um, sort of the screen that we're given and then um that's not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna like i said i'm not gonna get too much into this until i'm done with the ottoman campaign I'm just gonna show you the sort of overworld screen and then in my next let's play i'm gonna give you the basics of the game rise of nations because you know all all this will be meaningless to you unless you know how to play the game and what the parameters of the game are and there's some really interesting and unique ideas in this game that haven't been duplicated in any rts since but anyway, let's just get uh, the ball rolling here. So I'm going to click New Campaign. Do the Soviets. We have defeated the fascist foes who attacked us from east and west. But we now face an even greater threat. The warmongering capitalist hordes led by the United States and its allies. Their bases ring our nation and their missiles and bombers are poised to attack us at any moment. Our freedom-loving workers insist that the only way their leaders can respond to this deadly threat is to, is to conquer, conquer the, the world. world. Sorry, I love that. It says at the front of every campaign. I also love it how it says, conquer the world, underneath this is Joseph Stalin in Russian. I think that's pretty badass. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. So here's our overworld map. This is the world, and of course here's the Soviet Union. And um, as you can see, these little dudes, these are our armies. These are our territories, they're all ranked in um, strength and sort of production value is at that, li this, that, that little number there. Then there's uh, 
North Americans and NATO over here in Europe. Then, of course, there's a whole bunch of various African states, Middle East, you know, Afghanistan, India, uh, Vietnam. And then, of course, there's the South American states. And that there's your, your basic uh, sort of uh, overview of the world. Let's do a few quick notes on the parameters of the game, what's up here, what's down here, sort of thing. But let's start off right here. See these four territories that are out, out ringed in yellow? That is my territories of the Warsaw Pact. And as you can see, they only have little numbers here, only like one and... You know, they're all just one except for Poland, which is three. And I have to increase those territories to at least a strength of three. And I do that by spending tribute, which is the... Um, the money of the sort of overworld map and uh, I, I do that and I just click here and I have to build up my my Warsaw Pact so it's uh, comparable to that of NATO because all these uh, all these territories here are in rough shape after World War II of course so I gotta build them up uh, uh, if, and if I don't I risk having them rebel against me but um, my first move uh, It'll probably be my third part. Is I'm going to invade Korea and start the Korean War, of course, and then um, that'll be the first let's play. But that'll be after I sort of give you the basics of the actual RTS elements of the game. This is just the overworld parts of the game, and uh, let's just go over some quick things here. Uh, of course, here up here, this is my up here is the Defcon meter. And as it gets higher and higher, nuclear the threat of nuclear war increases. Both me and the Americans only have two nuclear silos. And here's the key. I can turn this at any time to uh, launch my missiles at the enemy and start a nuclear war with the Americans. And um, over here is my espionage missions. This doesn't take up a turn. Uh, it's just like a little uh, side mission you can do. It costs you a little bit of money, but you get some um, some bonuses when you when you do that. Also, each territory has um, a, what could be a rare resource and these rare resources help you gain either like um, benefits like I have some uranium here and nuclear missile and when I go into a map because I have uranium nuclear missiles when I build them on the actual RTS elements of the game will be 50% or 5% cheaper and build 10% faster and also gives me um, a boost of 20 knowledge and 20 oil. We'll get into that a little bit later as time goes on. But as you can see, like every territory has its own unique um, parts to it. There's also a supply center, and supply centers supply our armies. And then, um, and of course, they're all, all producing tributes, which is our our, our income. But I think that's a, that'll give you a basic overview. That gives you a basic overview of this sort of map. We'll get into more as time goes on. But this is going to be a basic introduction to the game. But I'm just going to sign this off for now. I hope you guys are excited about this because I'm certainly excited about this. But this has been Joseph Isaron with Stalin, and I'll see you guys later. And join me next time, where of course we'll be. I'll be showing you the actual RTS elements of the game and going through the basic sort of steps to succeed at that. Also, don't forget to join our Steam group. Um, I'm going to leave the information in the side as I always do. We're up to 25 members now. Uh, keep it, uh, That's only after like two days, so keep the support coming, guys. Uh, and join up, and hope to be playing with you guys soon. See you later.